submitted to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the characteristic of the believer. That when Allah ta'ala commands, he says, I hear and I obey. When the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commands, he says, I hear and I obey. Without any hesitations, without any uh, discrepancies, without having to uh, check, should I obey, should I not obey? Is this good or is this bad? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only commands with that which is best. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he only commands with that which is best. So when we hear the command of Allah, the command of the Prophet وسلم, we say we hear and we obey. And this characteristic is what will lead us to a great achievement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, And whoever has obeyed Allah and his messenger, then he has achieved a great achievement. It's achieved a great achievement. So then naturally, a person may ask, well this person who is obeying Allah and this great achievement that he attains, uh, well what is this great achievement? Well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he also explains this in the Quran. He says, Allah, <laughs> Allah says that he may enter the believing men and the believing women gardens underneath which rivers flow and he will expiate their bad deeds. Allah says, And that is eternally with Allah the great achievement. The great attainment. And so Allah Ta'ala explains that the great attainment, the great achievement that is achieved by the one who is obedient to Allah and obedient to his Prophet وسلم, is that he will be entered into gardens underneath which rivers flow. And Allah will remove his, his misdeeds. And so when we know about ourselves that we have misdeeds and we follow that up with obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as this is a means to remove that. And so this is the believer. The believer when he hears the, the call of Allah, the call of the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, whether it's in our rituals, whether it is, uh, has to do with our married life, whether it has to do with our finances, whether it has to do with how we interact with our neighbors, how we interact with the Muslims, how we interact with the non-Muslims, how we interact with others who are not obedient to Allah as it relates to how they interact with us. The believer answers the call of Allah, and the call of the Prophet وسلم, simply because Allah and His Messenger have commanded. Uh, no other reason other than that. Allah said, do, the believer does. Allah says, don't do, the believer says, I'm not doing. Because Allah said, do, because Allah said, don't do. This is the characteristic of the believer, and this is the characteristic that will make us amongst those who will achieve a great achievement in this life, as well as in the hereafter. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with the characteristic of obedience, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all of our good deeds and our righteous actions. May He overlook our faults and forgive us of our sins.